All right. It's so great to welcome back one of my favorite people and frequent guests, Irving Green. Irving, come on in. Hi. Hey, Amber. How did you get better looking? Oh, stop. I live in LA <laughs> after all. Don't forget. <laughs> so our theme tonight is John Waters. What's your connection with John Waters? Yeah. Okay. So I first heard of John Waters um, years ago when I started watching Drag Race, actually. And a lot of my friends would watch the show would kind of give me the scoop. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's very raunchy, very raunchy. Um, and then, yeah, fast forward now. And here we are in a movie with John, which is just crazy. Uh, what's what? What is the movie? The movie is Boom Slang Three: Your Future. Oh, there's the poster right there. Um, yeah, it's written by Alan Osborne and directed by Justin Schwann. And boom, it's number three. What? What? I I did not see one and two. What? What's the premise of the the series? No worries. Um, so the series follows uh Eric Boom Slang. He's this very charming, dapper, like great guy who's also a serial killer um so he's kind of cray cray and in the different uh films leading up to this one there's always a different adventure a different cast of characters and a different murder um so yeah and then i i wasn't in the other two but i got the opportunity to play this role in the third one and um it's a lot of fun we we are me it, it's me playing uh the psychic assistant ali and then um, Miss June is played by uh, Tr other Trisha Stahl. There she is. She's she's amazing. Okay, we just had so much so much fun and this chemistry. Um, just trying to pull one over on Eric, uh, but things get very interesting. Oh, I, I understand. We have a clip too oh, of, okay. of of that or a trailer. Let's play it. Watch that. What question about your future can I answer for you? What sort of chicanery goes on here? I am a trainer, Wolfgang. You messaged me on the Christian Mingle app to train. He represented Meryl Streep. Oh, I've never heard of him. Hmm. Now dyslexic ghost is back. What's a mood? I believe that's a murder. Then let's grab your purse and the can and get the hell out of here. Oh, no, no, I'm not afraid of him. Now, the way we work here is, if she tells you something that comes true after you leave, you send us $150 via Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Zelle, Apple Pay, or Western Union. You can tell all that from Coffee Cat. I'm telling you what I see. <laughs> are you sensing anything? Because, girl, you look like you're being tasered. Oh, the lighting's so bad here. God, I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> that it looks like a John Waters film. Yeah, I mean, our, our writer Alan, he's incredible, and John Waters is such a big inspiration to him. And when I got the script and was like, okay, you know, can you do this thing? I was like, uh, yeah, this is wacky and crazy and fun. Let's go. Did you spend any time with John? I have not. I have yet to spend any time with John. I was I was like, oh my God, meet John. John had his stuff done before we even started shooting. I mean, the professional he is, he was like, that's done. Um, but I did get to see a couple of the outtakes, which was just hilarious. What, uh, what's the future of the film? Where, where will it be seen? Yeah, so right now, Boom Slang 3 is uh, playing in film festivals around the world, okay, which is crazy, because I was just like, Oh, Tokyo and saw us, all these other places like are writing reviews, which is just wonderful. Um, and the and the previous one was actually playing uh, played in Cannes, which is crazy too. Um, and so you can, if you're in a film festival, check around the film festival, check your listing, see what's up, see you know what you got in the area. And then the previous two can be seen on um, Big Picture Artists' uh, YouTube and like website. You can catch it. What else are you doing now? That That's in the can, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's going on in your world, Irving? Oh, Amber, um, <laughs> that's a lot. I don't sleep, but that's okay. Um, sleep, we'll sleep later. Um, I've just been very fortunate and blessed to be able to be very busy this year. Um, I Let's see. What I can say, because the thing is NDAs. I have signed many of NDAs. So I, I never made you sign one. 
No, no, no. All your all your secrets are aired, honey. We know your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. So I did recently um, on Netflix. There's a, a film called Rainbow that's streaming now. I am the English voice for the character Akeen. It's kind of like a retelling of The Wizard of Oz. Um, yeah, directed by uh, Paco de Leon. So that's a really good one. Um, and then just some other things, video games, animation, some other things that are all, 2023, 2023. Oh. That's all I can say. <laughs> what would be your ideal gig? My ideal gig, oh. oh. Okay, well, voice acting wise, and everyone who knows me knows this, I I would die if I could be an Overwatch. That is my thing that got me into voice acting. Um, and then for on camera, I am working my way to be up in a, in a Marvel movie. Okay, mm -hmm. that is my thing. You know, I'm trying to be a Wakandan, you know, Wakanda forever, I am ready. <laughs> please put me in a Marvel movie, please. You know, like I'm trying. <laughs> I've, you've done so much. You, you do. Uh, you've done stage work. You've mm -hmm. done um, stand-up com comedy. You've mm -hmm. done this film. You do the voiceovers. What, what's your favorite? Oh, that's tough. Um, they're all so different, but they pull from the same source. Um, you know, all of it is acting. All of it is entertaining. All of it is uh, reacting and interacting. You know, like it's all of that. Um, I'm a big nerd, so I grew up playing video games. To me, that was my escape. That was my Saturday morning cartoon. Like that was just the way to get out in out, out of the headspace you were in and just go into this fantasy land. Um, so for me, my favorite and definitely what keeps me most busy at the moment is voiceover, um, it's specifically video games. Because, um, and you'll see when these things come out. But I am, I am playing characters that I always dreamed of, uh, as nine-year-old Irving would say. It's like, oh, I want to do that one day. And it's like, I'm doing it, which is really, really, really crazy to think about and inspiring. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Irving. Yeah.